I've posted on the internet occasionally about the usefulness of as few as two broadband absorber panels. The way I use two panels is a, a, to form a local reflection control zone, I call it. I, like I said, use two of those panels to make a V behind the microphone, you know, like this. The idea being that when I play the guitar or talk, the sound goes out this way, travels through the panels, and is attenuated, is reduced. Then it hits the other surfaces in the room and gets reflected back. Those reflections are what I'm trying to, to control. And so by sending reduced waves out, the reflections are obviously going to be reduced. And when they come back, those panels are between the microphones and the reflection points. So those panels once again absorb the sound. So they get the, they reduce the sound twice. And by being behind the microphones, they reduce the sound coming in to the back and sides of the microphones, which are the, the parts of the microphone, the directions in which the microphone hears less well. No microphone is perfect. Even the best microphone has some frequency response errors. And they almost always occur on the sides and to the rear, that is to say the off-axis locations. So putting these panels behind the microphones, between the microphones and the, ref the reflection source, reduces the impact on those off-axis uh, directions. I'm just going to talk and play the guitar, put up the panels, talk and play the guitar, and you can listen to the result and decide for yourself if there's any benefit to using two panels for localized reflection control. We're using the Zoom Q3 HD and that will be the source of all the audio. The audio you're hearing now is being recorded on this guy and then synced in later in post. It'll also be the, uh, the video of me playing guitar. And I'm using the little magnetic stick-on wide-angle lens that I posted about in the blog earlier. So um, let's play some guitar and we'll, first we'll talk and then play the guitar. How now, brown cow? Will that sentence give you any information about the reflection situation? I hope I can remember that next time. Here's uh, the Martin. And we're going to do a little tribute to Uncle Sonny Chillingworth. There's the sound without the panels. Now we'll put up the panels and try to do something similar. Notice that I carefully stored the panels outside the room so that they wouldn't affect the, the first shot. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them in a V behind the microphone. And in order to keep them steady, I use a, just a piece of bent coat hanger and jam it in to the fiberglass to hold them in place. Let's see how that works. Set them up like that. Jam in the coat hanger. Make sure that they're rubbing up against each other and they'll just stay there. So now you can't see the microphone anymore. It's still in the same location, but it's not only hidden from the camera, it's hidden from all the reflections coming from that side of the room. Uh, let's hear, you probably already can hear a difference, but let me go through my little thing again. How now, brown cow? Will this sentence help you understand the situation with regard to reflection? I know I didn't get it right, but 
let's listen to this uh, Uncle Sonny piece and listen and see how having the panels in place affects the recorded sound of the guitar. Like I said, I wish I could play exactly the same thing. I wish I could say exactly the same thing so you had the, a direct comparison. I, I, a recorded source would be better, but people like to hear live sources. So um, hopefully there's enough information here in this little test to let you decide if investing in two panels is worth doing. Um, I'll turn this into a little video and write about it on the Homebrewed Music blog and I hope you find it useful. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Will that sentence give you any information? Will this sentence help you understand about the reflection situation? The situation with regard to reflection. <laughs> please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com. Mm -hmm.